Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Time Eater, that is. If any of you haven't seen this card, rest assured it's one of the stupidest things ever printed. Time Eater is a six star monster with 1900 attack, and if it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, your opponent skips their next main phase one. Now you might be asking yourself, so? Well, I have great news. This is not the only card with an effect similar to that. The recently printed Terminal World can only be activated during main phase one, and while it's on the field, both players skip their main phase two. This enables an exceptionally silly deck in which you continuously attack over monsters with Time Eater to skip your opponent's main phase one, and Terminal World to skip over their main phase two. This means your opponent goes draw, standby, battle, end. And if you've cleaned up the board state, then there's nothing they can do to prevent you from winning. This exceptionally silly combo is the focus of our deck today. Now you'll notice right away that it's got a lot in common with the Tyler Nolan list we played a couple of weeks ago. Black Garden, Volcanic Rocket, Triple Shell, and Double Blaze Accelerator are an exceptional control strategy around this time, but notably do double duty in this deck where Black Garden allows you to repeatedly summon tokens to your opponent's side of the field, which Time Eater can run over. You get one of those every turn by playing a Spirit Monster monster like Yaksha, which additionally can bounce back row to your opponent's hand, and as a result you can lock them exceptionally easy, provided you slow the game down enough that you can find this four card setup. Getting individual pieces is also fine. If you time eater an opponent, you can still gain some advantage off of it, because routinely opponents will need to do something before combat in order to use the battle phase as an opportunity for removal. Terminal World means that you can punish opponents who forget that they're not playing Speed Duel, and of course we've got some stuff like Blaze Accelerator that are just generally very good when you have volcanic shells in the mix. Outside of that, this deck is pretty straightforward. It's all designed to get the combo or slow things down to the point of the combo, and we've thrown in a Dark Arm Dragon for good uh, measure as well. So let's get into the card by card. We've got Gale, we've got Dark Arm Dragon, we've got Double Dekoichi, One Gravekeeper's Descendant, Triple Gravekeeper Spy, Triple Time Eater, Triple Volcanic Rocket, Shell, Yaksha, Black Garden, Double Blaze Accelerator, a Gold Sark, an MST, Double Terminal World, Terraforming, Double Bottomless, Compulsory Evacuation Device, Double Dimensional Prison, Divine Wrath, Mirror Force, Solid Judgment, Starlight Road, and Torrential Tribute. In the side, we've got some cards designed to make this deck better, which I will not be boarding because that's antithetical to the spirit of this strategy. We've got a Grand Mole, which has some really funny uh, interactions with uh, many of the cards in this deck once you get it going. Two copies of DD Crow, Triple Fossil Dynapacacephalo, uh, Double Dust Tornado, Double Soul Release, and Triple Light Imprisoning Mirror. In the extra, we've got, I think, a bunch of cards just to scare Alex. I, I don't think we can possibly summon any of these. So with that, let's get skipping. So this is what it's come to, huh? I've lost five, six, maybe seven episodes of History of Jank in a row. Is this what I'm really going to subject myself to, to actually get a win in this series? Am I going to call upon the undeniable paragon of Jank? Yes, yes I am. This is Exodia, ladies and gentlemen. We have not touched Exodia in quite some time in the history of Jank, but it is time once again to ruin Joseph's win streak. Exodia is a tried and true strategy that sometimes works, but most of the time it doesn't. It is the ultimate high roll deck where you are trying to draw your entire deck and stop your opponent from killing you simultaneously. It's high risk, typically no reward, but there are some fun times where this deck actually does rear its ugly head because most of the the actual good decks aren't really playing anything to respect it, and you might see some rare instances where a deck like this is able to actually do something in the competitive scene. But that's not very often. Most of the time you would see this on the playground, people just trying to jam every single draw card in their deck imaginable. I remember just playing at locals, just seeing Emissary of the Afterlife everywhere, because who doesn't love Exodia at the end of the day? If there is a card that represents Yu-Gi-Oh! behind Blue-Eyes White Dragon and Dark Magician, it is none other than Exodia the Forbidden One. 
one. So let's do the card by card. Three Emissary of the Afterlife. When it's sent from field to grave, we get to add any of our Exodia pieces to our hand, except for the head. It does have to be a normal monster specifically. Also, just a 1600 body, so like not terrible. We have the five pieces, of course. We have Sangen to search all those. Triple Swift Scarecrow to protect us from dying. Double Gold Sark to be able to get us into any of our pieces or any defensive card, depending on the way our hand looks. Triple Pot of Duality gives us some nice card filtering to get any card we need for any given situation. We're never special summoning in this deck, so that's never a downside. Triple Upstart Goblin, because we don't give a shit about Joseph's life points. And then we have 20 traps. Three Dark Bribe. Yes, giving them a card isn't ideal, but most of the time they don't have ways to interact with us anyway. And being able to negate key cards is why we want to play this. Triple Jar of Greed. Triple Legacy of Yadagarasu, which is six copies of Jar of Greed. Triple Reckless Greed. I hope we can actually stack some of these, because being able to draw four or six cards and only skip two draw phases is actually just broken. Triple Scrubbed Raid. Actually, I've never seen this card prior to filming this video. During the battle phase, you can send a card you control to the graveyard, except this card, to end the battle phase. So it's sort of like a continuous version of Threatening Roar, which we're also playing three of, but there's some neat little interactions here because we could send Emissary to actually trigger our search manually, because if Joseph obviously knows what we're playing, he's not going to want to voluntarily kill Emissary, except if it's in the instance of him using Time Eater in the deck he's playing, but we could even convert any of our other cards, like maybe a Dead Dark Bribe or something like that, into just being able to blank a battle phase to buy us some more time. We also have Judgment, the Triple Threatening War, and Torrential Tribute rounding out our deck. This deck, for some reason, was side-decking Starlight Road and Stardust Dragon, but we're probably not even going to bother. I don't need more cards to beat Joseph. I believe in the heart of the cards. I believe in Exodia, and Exodia is going to get me out of the jank tank once and for all. We can hope, ladies and gentlemen. We can only hope. So that's it. Exodia is what we're playing. We're probably losing, but in all honesty, I don't give a shit, because as long as we can get Exodia on the board one time, one time, that is all I need to see that precious look on Joseph's face as he agonizes over the fact that we summon this on him once more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. But it, it, it just keeps spiraling and getting more and more out of hand each week that progresses. Uh, we're still in the never-ending timeline of me being in the jank tank. And uh, with this week's episode, it's probably going to continue that way because I can't wait to just brick on Exodia pieces or get Time Eater locked out of my life. I am not looking forward to this. But I know you're over the moon about today's episode. <laughs> Very excited. Uh, I have wanted to play a terrible uh, skip turn deck for a while. Uh, unfortunately, this one is not very good. Not a lot it can do. Uh, we're going to hope that it works out, but uh, I will not be surprised if it doesn't. Buddy, if you just want to play a terrible skip turn deck, you should have just played the world deck that I played last episode. That's all you had to ask. Uh, That's all you had to ask. Uh, I have a limit on what I consider terrible. Excellent. Uh, well, I'm uh... glad I don't, evidently. Let's shout the patron, Diego Rosario. Thank you for the support, buddy. Are you rolling dice? You got the hand up? What are you doing? I, I got the hand up. Okay, let's go with even. It is even. I win zero for the number of main phases you're getting. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, well, I'm going to at least assure myself that I'm going to get one because I am going to go first here. And even if you went first, I would still get Ooh. a main phase because you can't attack me with time eater. But uh, we'll see. Uh, you know, anything's possible in the history of Jank. Best of luck, sir. And uh, OK, this hand is interesting. Let's start with pot of duality. That's nice. OK, uh, let's banish three. Oh, three trap three cards. Pretty who'd good have, ones. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Uh, I guess the Reckless, probably. I'll take the Reckless. Put these back. Uh, then let's go ahead and set a monster. I'm going to Gold Sark. Yeah. I, I don't know what I'm banishing, in all honesty. Like, do I banish a specific Exodia piece? I think that sounds terrible. I could banish Emissary of the Afterlife, which is any Exodia piece. I could also banish something that just saves me and buys me time. Immediately win me the game card in this scenario with Gold Sark. I guess, you know, on turn 20, if I still need Exodia piece, then I'll be able to find something. Let's grab ourselves Emissary of the Afterlife. Let's just do that. Sure. Whatever. Uh, we're going the distance. Set four back row. Best of luck. Okay, draw for turn. Yep. Stand by me. Uh, I guess I'll normal Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. That is fine. We'll attack here. It is Sengen. Well, there's one. Now, logically, I could just grab an Exodia piece, but I actually think I'll just grab Emissary, because Emissary can actually kill Gale, so. 
Alright, we'll just set five and pass Holy back to you. Holy fuck. Okay. End phase, I'll activate Legacy of Yada Garasu. Go ahead. And I will Jar of Greed on top of it. Also fine. I do not have Chain Strike to be able to pair with that, but we'll take it. Alright, we'll draw. Ending standby. No. Main. Emissary. There's no shot this works. No, I got Dimensional Prison. Uh, great. And this thing has to go to the graveyard to trigger. <sighs> That's gross. Um, do I care? Mm, this is Exodia I'm playing, so I probably should care. Nah, I gotta let it go. All right, he's gone. Second main, uh, I'm just gonna do what you did. Set three more back row. Go ahead. Oh, God. Stand by main. All good. How am I supposed to do this? Uh, I'll just go to combat and hit. I'll take 13. Got you on the six turn clock. Back to you. All right, we'll draw. Uh, stand by. It's been two turns. I will get my other emissary. Yep. Uh, let's try it again. Man, I'm getting a lot of value out of these. Holy crap. Uh, I'll dark bribe this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, now we'll hit. I'm gonna mirror force? That's fine. At least I get to trigger emissary, so. Yeah. Uh, we will get Exodia piece number one. Let's get the first one I see. Left arm of the forbidden one. And sure. second main, I'll set one over to you. Stand by me. Yep. Waha! 13. It's going fast. Second main. Go ahead. Riveting gameplay we got going on here, isn't it? Truly. Well, I don't got much else going on. Go ahead. Stand by me. Yep. Uh, let's <laughs> tribute Shell for Time Eater. There he is. I have Torrential. Ah, uh, okay. Well, uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I'll pay five for the uh, Shell here. Sure. All right. Uh, back to you. I will draw. Uh, upstart. Activate Reckless Greed. Sure. Activate another Reckless Greed. Yeah. Okay, so we'll draw four. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, uh, that is exactly what I wanted to see. I will set one, two, three back row and over to you. Stand by me. Yes. Rocket. Rocket, unfortunately, is fine. We'll go for the effect here. Sure. Uh, I'm going to pay five for the uh, shell engraved. You're welcome with that upstart goblin paying for those. Yeah. It was an investment. All right. I guess I'll threatening roar this. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, back to you. All right. Uh, I will reckless again. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Wow, that's real nice. So this is turn one on reckless. Uh, I guess I'll legacy of Yada while we're at it too. Sure. Uh, duality. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Some decent ones. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll take Scarecrow. Set one, and I will set one, two, activate Gold Sark. I need to put these cards back in my deck. Mm -hmm. I will banish with Gold Sark the head of Exodia. Why not? It's one I can't search with Emissary. Uh, then I will set a final back row and over to you. Stand by me. Yep. Combat. Uh, it is Emissary. I'll trigger. Yep. Grab this time the right arm. Set this and back to... Oh, let me set one more and back to you. Uh, so that's my second turn on Reckless. So I am allowed to draw cards again. But sadly, I don't have much else to do besides that. So I'll just pass it back. That Stand is one turn me. on Gold Sark as well. Stand by main's fine. Dekoichi is fine. Uh, I'm going to activate Black Garden here. Okay, that's scary. Uh, we'll go to combat. Uh, 14. Threatening Roar. Okay, second main. I'll set one and back to you. Slowly but surely. Main one, I've got another back row. I also get this Exodia head to my hand. And I'll throw it to you. Stand by me. All good. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm a normal rocket here. This will trigger the Black Garden. This will give me a creature. Sure. Goes an attack, correct? Uh, let's go uh, spy. I'll trigger spy. That seems pretty good, yeah. Actually, is Black Garden only on... It's only on... Uh, it's not on Normal flip. or special. Yes. Yeah, so, so spy isn't going to be affected. Correct. Here. Okay, so I get two tokens here. Uh, we'll go to combat. I've uh, got another threatening token. roar. Wow, okay. Uh, second main, let's uh, start picking off the back row. I'll go descendant targeting this one. That is a dark bribe. That's fine. And you are good to go. We'll draw. Uh, we will... Well, we're definitely putting these tokens to defense. Although you can just bring out more, so it's not like it really does much. Set a card, and I will pass to you. I'm going to MST the new set. It was Legacy of Yada. Stand by me. 
All good. Okay, we're halfway there. I will tribute the descendant for Time Eater. Uh, in response to that, I think I'm actually just going to judgment the Time Eater. Ooh. All right, that's fine. So then do I not get, get the that token? token? Yeah, get that guy out of here. Yeah, yeah, okay, he's gone. All right, uh, battle phase. Sure. I'll go rocket into a token. Okay. Uh, I will compulse one of the tokens. Yeah, token gone. All right, let's start picking apart those uh, those scarecrows. Yep, uh, second main, I ain't got nothing to do. Back to you. Draw. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we trying again, baby. We are trying again. Try as you might. Yeah, <laughs> you will yeah, not yeah, succeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, back to you. Come on, baby. Uh, Upstart. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go. <laughs> All right, we got one more in me, baby. We got one more. I will activate Scrubbed Raid. <laughs> No response to this. I will send Dark Bribe to end the battle phase. All right. Second main, I'll set one back to... Ooh, wow. Wait, Scrub Raid is a huge problem for me. This card's not bad. I got to be honest. It's Wait, that's that's disastrous. Okay, go ahead. Draw. <gasps> you fool, Joseph! You have seen the power of Exodia once before, but I have assembled all five pieces once again. How does it feel, buddy? Dog, you've got seven cards left in the deck. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I mean, <laughs> can I divide Wrath no, Exodia? No, you can't divide Wrath Exodia. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that was the last turn, buddy. The last turn. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Well, you know, I I guess um I guess I should have time metered you, you know? That's really the only way I can I, get you out. You know, of this. I you simply just had to skip my turn. That's all you had to do. Uh well, I'm going to try my hardest this time and this hand is looking yeah, just about as bad as the last one. Uh we'll, Excellent. we'll try it out. Uh, I'm going to begin with a volcanic rocket. Sure. Go grab a uh, blaze accelerator. For all the good that'll do you. That's fine. Uh, let's set one card back to you. Draw. Hang standby. <laughs> no. Okay. Main one. Yeah. Uh, upstart goblin. Sure. Take yeah. Thousand. Just why don't you just open the thing? I mean, honestly, there'd be no better way for history of jank than if I opened all five pieces. But we're not at that point yet, where my protagonist powers have ascended mm. to such levels. All right. This hand looks fine. This duality banish is also okay. Do I really want a duality for a one for one on? Legacy of Yada. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Judgment's pretty good. Gold Sark is good eventually, I guess. Yeah, let's go for Gold Sark. Sure. Sure. It's a weird one, but uh, we'll see. All right. Uh, so we'll, we'll just Gold Sark. We'll get this out of the way now. Yeah, yeah. I uh, will banish Emissary. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to set one, two, three, oh, four. Throw it to you. Stand by me. What's the set card? Emissary. Uh, let's go. Could be anything. Terraforming. That is fine. I'll get Black Garden. Okay. You have this much earlier this time, which is quite scary. Uh, we're going to set one card and go to combat. We'll walk into your emissary. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. It. Trigger emissary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for let's it. Get the, let's get our all reliable right arm. All right. Go ahead. Okay. We'll draw. That is turn one on emissary. Main one. Uh, let's fire a jar of greed. Yep. Probably should have done that in end phase, but whatever. Uh, I'll just set another one. Over to you. How many of these are battle stoppers? Uh, stand by me. Uh, Probably 100% of them. I'm going to go spy here. We're going to grab Descendant. Uh, let's go Descendant. I'm going to target this one. I'll chain Threatening Roar. Okay, well, that was a turn. Uh, I will set one and pass it to you. I'll draw. Stand by. I get my emissary. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Main one, I will set a card that could be quite literally anything, and I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. Stand by main. Uh, let's go spy again. Ooh, this is pretty good. You get some nice descendant pops here. Wow. Uh, okay. We'll go descendant for this back row. Uh, can't do anything about this. It is the scrubbed raid. Let's go descendant for this back row. This one's threatening worse. I'll change. Well, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> uh, let's uh, set this uh, and back to you, buddy. I will draw main one. I will set a card. Throw it to you. All right. Uh, okay. Stand by me. Yep. Uh, we'll flip to Koichi and activate the effect. Pretty good. Sure. Uh, here we go. Uh, Black Garden. Black Garden is stuck. I will summon Time Eater. 
There he is. No response. All right, get your token. Get my token. Thank you. Uh, I'll go to combat. Time eater the token. I will scrub grade. Oh! Yeah. Any response? No, I do not have a response. I will send emissary. Trigger emissary. Yep. Okay. Uh, second main. Yep. A terminal world, you know. Okay. Sure. Oh, I can only activate this during main phase one. Okay. Let's just forget that happened then. <laughs> Back to you. Okay. We will draw. I'm going to put the token into Descendant. Uh, oh, to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I take seven here. Yeah. yeah. Time Eater does have to kill by battle, so that is a little work around there. Uh, second main, I have a back row. And over to you. Can you send the token to fulfill Scrub Braid? You cannot. Oh, I had to God. Google this. I wish. Stand by me. <laughs> that would be broken. That's fine. All right, let's try for it. Uh, I have okay. Yaksha. Okay, so this is like technically the lock. Provided you don't have a shitload of cards that prevent me from going to battle phase. We will try our best. Right. I will get a token. Battle? I'll attack. As you enter battle in the start step, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, but I think this works, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. I will activate Legacy of Yada. <sighs> yeah. I will chain Scrub Raid. Yep. Okay. So chain link two, battle phase ends, chain link one, I draw a card. Oh, Yaksha has an effect. What? Oh my God. I got to use that next time. Oh shit. Oh Lord. All right. Uh, well, we'll go to end step and he'll go to hand. Okay. All right, back to uh, it's optional. So next turn I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll draw a card. Main one. I'll, uh... oh, I'm so screwed. Uh, upstart. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll just put the token to defense because it really doesn't make a difference at this point. Uh, I've got two back oh row for God. you. And that's it. I don't get a main phase two with Terminal World. All right. Uh, M1. M1 is good. Yaksha targeting Scrub Drape. That is fine. Unfortunately, I have no response to that. Get your token. Get my token. Goes in attack, sadly. Uh, combat. Time eater here. Sure. Okay. So I lose my main phase one. Ooh. Second main. I'll set one. Oh, I don't have a second main. You don't have a main. It's no fine. second That's main, fine. buddy. Duel links. You should know this. <laughs> okay, Yaksha back to hand. Okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, end phase. Well, fuck. I'm like fully locked here, aren't I? Yes. I don't get main one because of time meter. I don't get main two because of terminal world. I also don't get a battle phase because I technically don't get main one. I believe that's how it works. Uh, you can so go I get directly a into battle phase. Is that how it works? Uh, Yeah, it's like Dugaris. Okay. I mean, to be fair, I don't know if I'm attacking in all fairness, <laughs> but so draw phase, I'll have a standby phase, a battle phase, and then an end phase. That's so weird. All right. Uh, I've got nothing. I'll just go to my draw phase, Uh, standby phase. Yes. End phase. All right. <laughs> I have to discard, so I'll actually get rid of Scrub Rage. Sure. Okay. So this is kind of frustrating. Um, despite the fact that I have the lock, you still can win by just nat drawing Exodia. And I've got, I mean, it's possible. <laughs> I've got a but feeling you're sitting come on, on like buddy. What's the likelihood? Pieces? What is the likelihood that I have four pieces of Exodia in my hand and that I'm going to win solely off the fact that I'm going to draw the last piece? Yaksha's fine. I'll take this back to my hand. No problem. All right. I'll set this in MP1. Uh, okay. We'll combat. Smart move. Uh, time meter into the attack position one. Okay. So I take 11 here. Did I forget to take 11 from the last token too? I think I did. Uh, we'll go Yaksha into the... I think I can just go Descendant into this one. It's fine. We'll try direct. Uh, this is a lot of damage. Yeah. 19... 19? Uh, Yaksha's halved. Oh, Yaksha's halved. Excuse me. So... Because of Black Garden. Yeah. So I actually get 950 back. Thank you. All right. Uh, back to you. Okay. <laughs> Draw. I, I don't get any turns. This is fantastic. Standby. End phase. I will discard Dark Bribe and I will discard Reckless Greed. Sure. Down to six. Over to you. Standby main. Yaksha. Must be nice to have a main phase. Uh, I will chain this one. It's Legacy of Yadagorasa. Sure. Uh, you get your token. I do my token. Thank you. All right. I think I can do this even through Scarecrow next turn. Uh, so we'll go combat, time eater in. Take 11. Uh, <laughs> past turn. Uh, I will discard Blaze Accelerator to hand size. I will draw. Standby, end phase. I will pitch Scrub Raid, Legacy of Yada. Go ahead. All right, stand by me. I'm going to normal Gale the Whirlwind. Sure. Get a token. I'll have oh, the token. Oh, you're going to have the token. Yep. And then time it Clever. up, Clever. Clever. 
I just gotta say, buddy. I you knew were so it. I knew you fucking had close to dying. Oh. What are the chances that it's the last card on top? What are the chances, huh? Oh, that's oh, okay. a pretty good one. Uh, it that's do still anything, pretty good. Right? It uh, would not have gotten me to the uh, final piece. It was seven cards oh. deep. Game three, buddy. Game oh, three. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Buddy, I'm begging you. It's been like a month and a half, maybe two months at this point. Just by the power of Exodia's will, I need to get out of this jank tank. Please show me all five pieces right now. I think you have a pretty good shot at it. This is the worst hand I've drawn yet. <sighs> okay, well, hopefully that's the case. Uh, this hand is, I get to draw for turn. Eh, it's fine. All right, so we'll upstart first. Get your yeah. thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then we'll duality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is looking pretty good. Oh, it's... Fine. Some good ones. Uh, okay. Scrub Raid was actually quite good for me, but it's a lot less good when you know about it. Yeah. At least for one battle phase. Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. I mean, you have Yaksha, but you know, if you have it, you have it. Shuffle them up. Uh, let's go ahead and set one, two, three, four. Go ahead. I don't know. I didn't really have anything to do here. Uh, boom. Bada bing. Bada bing. Bada bow! And let's not forget, uh, bada boom! Ooh, no main phase two. Okay, that's, that's, that's half the I combo. Uh, yeah, we just gotta find the other half. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and draw. Yeah. Uh, let's fire a duality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. Uh, those aren't bad. Judge is pretty good. I don't know if I want the arm immediately. Like, I'm trying to get the pieces, but, like, I also don't want the pieces at the same time. Fuck it. I'm a gambling man. I'll take the piece. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, that's it for me. Go ahead. All right, buddy. You thought that you had figured out how to beat my deck, right? Okay. If Emissary never attacks, I can never, like, de-prison it, right? <laughs> if you never okay. normal it, I can never bottom it. Okay. But if I never attack until I have the lock, <laughs> that Emissary's a vanilla! <laughs> oh, God. Massively punished here. Uh, okay. Uh, back to you. Okay. We'll draw. Uh, Gold Sark. Shit. Okay. I will banish from my deck... Fuck, do I just go for it? Fuck it. Let's go for the head. You have three pieces? <laughs> You're kidding me. I'm going to die with 27 cards in deck. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so frustrated. Okay, no big deal. Go ahead. Draw. That is turn one on Sark. I'll upstart and get 10,000 life points. I've got another back row for you, and I'll pass the turn. Okay, stand by me. Sure. I got nothing. Okay, it's looking good. Uh, I get the head. You do. Main one, I suppose I'll set another back row and throw it to you. Stand by me. Well, here we go. Garden. Okay. I'm going to dark bribe garden. Second garden. Terraforming. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yep, sure. Second garden. Okay. I will tribute shell for time eater. <sighs> no response. All right. Go, go get you, go get you a little uh, guy. Token is on field. Uh, I'm going to pay out the shell. Sure. Ooh, that's the opposite of what I was supposed to do. No, it was. I was like, no, no, I gained 15 somehow. Oh, no, that was you. You're welcome. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I got an MST. Do I just start blindly hitting shit? <laughs> like, <laughs> hoping that it's a scrubbed raid? Uh, no, let's just go to combat. Uh, wow. I will threatening roar. Uh, I'm going to judgment here. Oh, God. You got the life points for it, sure. Okay, so now you would be declaring an attack with Time Eater, correct? Okay, so Time Eater attacks. I will activate Legacy of Yada. Dog, if I get the lock and you draw Exodia anyway with 25 cards left in deck, I am going to cry. <laughs> I have no Yada? response to Legacy of Yada Garasu. Well, you said you have this MST, so. I do have the MST. That is fine. So this resolves, so I get my draw. Okay, uh, your attack resolves, so I will take 150, and I do not get a main phase one. Oh my god. Okay, uh, there is actually an issue here, which is if you've got four in hand, which I expect you do, <laughs> I don't actually have the Yaksha, which means I can't set it up every turn. I'll have to be a little more greedy. I've got a couple of turns to find an out, but if that set card is emissary, then I actually don't have very much time at all. <laughs> okay, uh, back to you. Uh, 
we will draw. So I do not have a main one and I do not have a main two. So right. I will think here in my standby phase if there's anything I do actually want to do. And I think the answer to that question is no. So I think I just straight up pass my turn here. One time, Yaksha. Okay, stand by me. Fine. Uh, we're going to set two. Uh, I'm going to normal shell. Okay. I'll give you so a you give me a token. Uh, we will go to combat here. I will try to hit. Sure. Uh, I'll take 150. Oh, by the grace of God, please. <laughs> a Yaksha on top of my deck. Back to you. All right. I will draw a card. I've got nothing, so... End phase, I will have to discard. Will pitch. I'm already locked. I don't think judgment does me any good at this point, so I'll get rid of judgment. Stand by me. You get it? Did not. So it's emissary, right? How much defense does emissary have? Do we know? So uh, we I'll look it up. Would you like me to tell you, or I would you like me to check for you? Yeah, you just check your face down card right there, real quick. I know off the top of my head it's Six. defense. Oh jeez. It's 600. You're yes. telling me the time eater would lock you if the set card is emissary. Correct. It would lock me if and the I, set's emissary. I will tell you this. I didn't draw Yaksha, but I did draw a way to guarantee I lock you for a couple additional turns, if, as long as I lock you this turn. Okay. But if you have four pieces. <laughs> did you you did you add the head this this time? You did. Yeah. I added the head with with Sark. I think there is functionally no difference. I'm going to set this card. No, there is a huge difference because if I give you an M1, <laughs> you get to set your back row. There's also a functional difference between losing the game immediately versus still having a chance to win the game. <laughs> All right, it's it's Scarecrow. You had four cards in your hand at one point. One of them was Scarecrow. I'm 100% certain. Buddy. Okay. This is my Emissary Resolve. Em oh, Emissary Resolve. I got nothing for that. What do you think? I'm going to Ash Blossom this guy in the damage step? You have Divine Wrath. I don't know. Can I end the battle phase? Yes, you may end oh! the battle phase. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll draw. Sadly, don't think I have much I can do. So end phase, I will get rid of Legacy of Yada, and I will get rid of Reckless Greed. Right. Draw for turn. Stand by me. Uh, okay. Uh, we are going to Compulse here, targeting Shell. I see. Okay. Clever. That's fine. Uh, we're going to Normal Shell. Get a token. Set one. Battle. Uh, time Eater Solos. The one issue with the time eater is that it's 950, so you're not getting in a huge amount of damage every time this connects. So I'll, you I'll, say, thank you. Yes, I'll take the 50 now. damage from the scarecrow. Are, are you me. sure? I think that maybe you should be scarecrowing this. Yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> All right, back to you. Okay, business as usual, I guess. Uh, stand by end phase. I'll get rid of upstart. Go ahead. I still love that because of the deck that I'm playing, I have a chance to still win I, the game, I where most it. decks would just so lose much. automatically. <laughs> All right, I'm going to dusty your back row. Uh, it's Jar of Greed, so I will chain it. Okay. Uh, normal rocket? Sure. I just got to keep drawing monsters. Uh, we'll grab Accelerator to hand. Yeah, as long as you keep getting monsters, you keep skipping my turn. I'm going to so. flip some in Shell. You know, you're going to have Oh, to. excellent. I would put the screws on you. All right, so this is 150 I take from this. Uh, and then... 50 should you choose to take 50 it? uh 950 950 and 100 yes because black garden does not apply to flip summons sure all right uh back to you draw i don't have a main phase i don't know why i'm going there uh we're just going straight to end phase i will get rid of scrubbed raid and boy the last one is tough i think i will get rid of reckless greed sure stand by me why the fuck is this card in here what on earth? To what end? Uh, I don't think so. You, do you have another monster? I don't. You he does not a have a monster. Okay, so I need to think here. So this is 50 plus 950 is 1,000 plus 20, another 50. 950. 2050? I'll take that. That's fine. Oh, I bet you will. Okay, now we got to beat a shitload of back row. All right, back to you. Stand by. Main one! We did it. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> 20 cards, okay. no Yaksha. Gold Sark. Oh, no. Dog, don't do that to me. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I will banish a piece of Exodia. Oh, no, dude. No, 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 no. I will set one card and I will pass the turn. <laughs> you have two turns, Joseph! 
I mean, I'll try for it. <laughs> okay, so this is 2050 20 again. again. I can afford to take this for two Stop. turns, which is pretty fucking funny. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take 2050. I'm down. Right, okay, uh, back to you. Turn one on gold sarcophagus. <laughs> Come on, man. Not like that. I will set a card and I will throw it to you. <laughs> Come on. Uh, draw for turn. Do you think you can beat Exodia in one turn? Uh, I'll combat. Do you have any weird way to kill me out of nowhere? I think I'll just Scarecrow to be safe. All right, I will Divine Wrath. Okay, I figured that was coming. Uh, uh, pitch. Pitch Terminal World. Excellent. Uh, that's negated, sure. So I take 2050 again. Yeah. Dog, if you live this one with 100 <laughs> life points. Uh, well, I don't have an M2, so, uh... Back to you. Stand by. No shot. It's one scarecrow and four pieces in the hand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fool! Fear the wrath of Exodia once again! I have assembled all five pieces! I was just waiting for my main phase one! You shall tremble before Exodia's might! Obliterate! You have 13 cards in your deck! No. Oh my god! Where? Where is it? No? <laughs> there! Oh, there right on is. time! There it is! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> it's not often okay. that a combo deck gets to do its combo twice <laughs> and loses. <laughs> but here we are! <laughs> Who knew it just took the almighty, invincible power of Exodia to get me out of the Jag tank? Holy <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> oh, God. What are the set cards? Uh, this was a Torrential, and this was a Jar of Greed, which is actually worthless because I banished the last Exodia piece, so like, I don't know yeah. what I was drawing at that point. <laughs> more I guess more crows. traps. But uh, I had a... I just drew a Threatening Roar, so if I didn't have Scarecrow, sure. I had that. Um, oh, my no, God. No, so... Remember how at like the second turn of this game, I was like, yeah, I'll get this left arm off of the duality or whatever. I had one piece in hand. I banished the head and then I drew the, um, oh no, I didn't draw it. Then Emissary got me the fourth and then I got the fifth off the second Sark. Yeah, so the game just went long enough that I resolved two Sarks and uh, Emissary got me there too. So uh, oh. I searched all the pieces sans one of them in my opening hand and uh, time eater locked in everything. I still was able to barely squeeze it out, but that... that's only because you didn't draw Yaksha. <laughs> if you drew any Yaksha or Yaksha adjacent card, I was dead. Cause then I wasn't gonna be able to play my gold Sark. At that point, I would have been top decking hoping to kill you. Oh my God, that was agony. True. Ag you know what the card <laughs> I drew uh, when I said, why is this in the deck was? Uh -huh. uh, dark armed dragon is in here. Oh, deck uh, plays. how many darks is this deck playing? Well, we have time eater. Uh, okay. We've got Gale. I guess we've got sure. Dekoichi and we've got the spies. Uh, didn't see them, but uh, drawing a uh, dark arm dragon with zero darks in gray. It's really excellent. Really good. Must feel good. Must feel nice. Um, let me just remind you, this was your idea to play this matchup. And I can I just say, I'm That's so true. glad that we did. I thought this was a really fun match. <laughs> oh, man. I, man, I... I gotta say, I am constantly impressed by the stupid shit that Black Garden specifically enables. This one's yes. a little sussy. It's a four-card combo if you go all the way with Yaksha, but you don't necessarily have to. It is a tall ask. Definitely Terminal World is, like, the worst card ever. Uh, but boy, <laughs> is it satisfying to get off. I will say, too, against any regular deck, you would have won the game ten times out of ten. <laughs> right? Because no other deck has a win condition that requires you to just draw cards and without playing them. Right? And the fact that you had me locked at that point, like one turn, 100 life points, not to mention any other deck wouldn't be playing actual cards that end battle phases, right? True. You would have maybe Torrential, uh, maybe Mirror Force would be the worst thing you'd have to worry about, or like D-Prison or something like that. But yeah, the fact that I had ways to end the battle phase, not just on the field, but even if I drew into Scarecrow, if you didn't have Divine Wrath, like, okay, then that just buys me another turn anyway. Uh, just hilarious interactions this match, and uh, I'm glad we did this. This was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this this was a blast. This was a blast. Um, also, uh, I will never, ever play anything this terrible ever again. 
I will never <laughs> ask my viewers for anything ever. I, wow, this was. That's <sighs> true. This was from viewer requests. So this is actually our own fault because we asked them for this. So at the end of the day, just blame them. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So big shout to Shout1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Tim00x3, Chaotic Meatball, MBT, Play Medulce, Eka, Iron Fang, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man, Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, I Ship, MBT, and Simo, Draconic, Rock Slide, Jordan Coons, Iron Blades, and Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Lou, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Phoenix the Immortal, Cody Bretz, John 2 Base, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet, Give Me Speed Reuter, Give Me Death, TC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves, Dad, Matthew Brady, Max, MBT's Gamer Word Pass, Tom Russell, Twinkle Muncher, Why Read Cards When You Can Just Click Buttons, Valen Jackson, Orange You Glad I Didn't Say Alpha Tribute Ben 10, Helios 515, Thank You, Simo, MBT Gage, The RJB Zero, and Ruxin 34, MBT Fans Scare Me More Than COVID, Simping for Simo, Stolfin Amethyst, Tyler H, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, Mike Ty, Rev Skinner, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnels, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, Skull Servant, and The Wandering Doomed Are Boyfriends, MBT canceled by all communities soon canceled by all committees soon canceled by all players soon not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it the undertaker versus simo and mbt hunter reed and shrugs thank you so much for watching the video and we will see you next time